It's a shame so much of this went to waste, but honestly, I can't remember what I was working on with this palette. So I have the house to myself tonight, and I am really excited about that. I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm back in my studio because my heart really just wants to paint. I do. The only thing is like, I'm really, really tired today. Like my body is just like really achy. So I don't know if I'm coming down with like a sickness or I don't know. I don't know why I'm really achy. I was outside in the cold with the kids for like two hours yesterday because we went to the zoo. That being said, I don't really feel like standing at my easel to paint or like even sitting at an easel. So I painted these canvases gold a while back. They're like really, really gold. I think it would be fun to use these up. Never mind. I'm gonna use this Belgian linen canvas. I've been dying to use these and I have two of them sitting in my studio and I just kind of feel like I need to paint some water. It's good for my soul. It is so good for my soul. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna watch my current favorite show right now and this is gonna be a good time. I did that Freedom in Bloom painting collection, which there's like one painting left back there from it. The rest have all sold, so thank you all. <laughs> but after that, I was kind of in a weird funk for a while and so I just did a bunch of little projects. But it's time, it's time to do this. I think like after I do a lot of large paintings, I always kind of get in that weird like funk where like it feels good to have painted them, but now I need to rest or something. So yeah, I think that's why I'm a style hopper because my version of like resting from that is just other types of art projects, which you can see on my channel I've been doing. So anyway, gonna start a painting. And then tomorrow my easel is nice and empty. I think I'm gonna do a larger painting. Maybe I'll take you to Blix with me. Do you guys want to go to Blix? Here's last night's painting session. Okay, I'm gonna do a Blix run because I have like four canvases right now and they are for a very specific project. And I think I just opened a can of worms with this beach painting. So I'm gonna go get a couple more canvases of this same exact size, I think, and do like a mini series or something. I don't know, actually. I'm just gonna go to Blix and get some new canvases and then I'll be back and let you know what's going on. Does anybody else like wait a long time to change their contacts and you know you should change them sooner and then you change them and the very next day you already need a new contact in one eye? It is like, the most irritating thing, but welcome to allergy season. <laughs> yeah. Finally hung that up. Asparagus is sprouting. My rhubarb sprouted. set up for today. I have my reference photo up there and then I started painting down here. This is oil on Belgian linen canvas. It's like a really, really high quality canvas. It's meant for oil painting. So I've been trying it out lately and I'm loving it. 
This is a picture from my last trip down to Florida with my family. So like half my family lives in Florida, so we go down there a couple times a year to see them. And yeah, here's my fun little palette. I know you scapegoated Murphy. I know you were responsible for letting Betty Smith out to try and murder Ferguson. I pressed some weird button on this camera and now I have this like weird thing showing up in the screen finder. <laughs> it's so distracting. I don't know how to get it off because I don't even know what it's called. It feels so good to be painting water. I have been wanting to do this for a while. The Freedom in Bloom collection was really good for me because I got to process a lot of gratitude through a really traumatic time in my life but I feel like processing some of that stuff was very exhausting and it kind of put me in a funk. So yeah, I needed to take a pause from larger paintings after that. Um, and now I'm back into it. This one, I'm not processing <laughs> anything really. I'm just going through my camera roll and looking at places I have been. That's like how a lot of my paintings come to be is inspiration from traveling because traveling is like one of my favorite things. Yeah, so far I've only painted pictures from Florida, but I have some pictures from some other places like Florida, California, and some places in Europe that I could use. Um, but I, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of liking this muted color scheme, so I'm either going to like only do pictures with this scheme that I've taken or just alter photos. But so far I've only done like sand beaches too. And I'm not really sure if I want to do the rocky beach scenes that I have. Also a fun little side fact, and I feel like right after I tell you this I'm gonna like fail, but I have been meticulously washing my paintbrushes lately. And if you know me, I'm the crusty brush girl. I don't take good care of my brushes, so for me to say that, um, I'm just really happy about that. So, this brush looks pretty new, and it has actually been through some things. I really like this stuff, but I have started doing something a little different now, and I might get some hate for this. This is probably not like the proper way to clean art supplies, but it's working for me, so I don't care. I like to put some Dawn dish soap in water and like twirl my brush around for a while and like really unclog it and then I run it through this stuff. I feel like it does a lot better of a job than like just this. I know I probably shouldn't be using dish soap on my brushes, but again, I don't really care because it works really good. If they don't last as long, that's fine. I paint a lot. I just want a good experience with my brushes. Okay, I'm running out of space for paintings right now. And I can't set this one down because it's still wet. So I put it on my plein air easel. I started a new painting. Yeah, that was my first sitting. I think that was like an hour. We have all the color blocked in. And now I'm gonna go in with details. I need to let it dry a little more though, cause it, yeah. I tried to do some details here. It's just not laying on the way I want it to for like blending. So we're gonna let it set. I think I want to name this collection Coastal Dream. That's like what is coming to my mind when I keep painting this. It makes me wanna travel. It makes me appreciate beautiful scenery and it makes me reflect on past experiences like going to the ocean and stuff. And it kind of just, I don't know, I feel like my head is in the clouds when I'm painting water. So Coastal Dream feels like it's really fitting for the way I am feeling when I'm painting this. I feel like I've opened a huge water painting can of worms I'm the third painting in now. I don't know when I'm gonna stop, I really don't. This is how the last collection went too. Like, I don't think I really intended it to be a huge collection, but then once you get going on something that like really grabs hold of your heart, sometimes it's just hard to let go and to stop. Good morning. So 
summer is on its way. Painting is so fulfilling. I'm really thankful that we can create and that we can take something that has meaning or something that intrigues us or maybe even scares us and then we paint it and it's like, whoa. This is the painting so far. I'm trying to do some highlights today. Um, this is the reference photo I have. I actually took this photo in Hawaii when I was swimming. Just screenshotted it off of my computer when I was going through all my images, but yeah, this is the picture. I took a GoPro into the water and we videoed like a bunch of waves and stuff, my husband and me. And then I pulled up the video footage and screenshotted some frames that I really liked. And this is one of them. That's where I got the reference photo for this one too. But this one, I'm doing with a little bit more mellow colors. It's like a more greenish blue. This one is a lot more vibrant. So yeah, that's cool. I'm also messing around with the clouds on this one and so they're a lot more textured. All done. All right, this is the fourth painting of the series. I'm about halfway through it, I think. But I'm gonna leave it sit for a little bit, let some of the paint dry, and then I'll come back to it later. I am loving this little painting nook in my studio. I know it's not the most like aesthetically pleasing place in the world, but it gets the job done and I'm just really happy. I don't do curtains in here, by the way, because I like to get the most natural light as possible. So if you're wondering why my windows look like that, that's why. I really need to do a shop update. Like I have reusable grocery bags right now, some paintings I've just never listed, some prints to list, some bookmarks. Like I could have a huge shop launch, but I just have a lot of other projects like paintings that I'm really into. But I need to do this because I've got bills to pay and this is how I make a living as I sell my art. I'm gonna try to get busy with some of that today. Let's sign some prints. You know, at this time of year, I feel like not a lot of really big sales go on, especially in my shop. And I was thinking about it and for this shop launch, I think I'm gonna launch it with a sale. So if you see this video within the first 24 hours that it goes live, you can use the code spring sale and that will get you 10% off of your order. I do not do sales very often unless you're on my email subscriber list. I do exclusive like secret sales for my email subscribers. So, and I also give them free coloring pages from time to time, but for like my regular YouTube videos and on Instagram, I don't do sales very often. So yeah, if you want to take advantage of 10% off your order, your entire order. I'm a small business, so I can't do like 50% off like what giant businesses do. Like my profits are not that big, <laughs> but I, I like to do a sale here and there throughout the year. So yeah, that also is valid for original paintings, by the way. So this is like the best time to order an original. So when I released this painting, I already knew this was going to become a bookmark. And then you folks started commenting like, please make it a bookmark. And I was just like cackling when I read those comments, like <laughs> they're on the way already. So that was exciting. Anyway, I did like a zoomed up part of the back and um, the front is the entire painting with rounded corners, of course. So yeah, I have 50 of these bookmarks in my shop and I really like them. I think they're my favorite bookmarks I've ever released. So that means I'm probably gonna take one for myself. I like to do a lot of reading, especially with tangible books. That's the question of the day. For reading, do you prefer holding a book in your hands and flipping the pages? Or do you like reading on like a Kindle or some sort of tablet? Or do you like audiobooks? Let me know what your favorite is. I definitely like books. Like it's just hard for me to read on a screen. And I really, really like audiobooks if it's like a good voice actor. I like to use Audible 
This is not sponsored. I just use them, especially for like memoirs and stuff. I just think hearing about people's lives is so interesting. I listened to Educated by Tara Westover and The Glass Castle. And then, yeah, right now I'm getting into Kristen Hanna. Those are not memoirs. It's just you know, I think everybody knows who Kristen Hanna is at this point, but The Great Alone was so good. I actually read that in book form. But anyway, I'm just ranting now. Um, I really like books like Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, like just surviving in the wilderness or like being on a homestead and stuff. I just started The Snow Child and I'm so excited. So yeah, here's the other bookmark. I have used these pencils in a sticker design that says Create Kindness. Now it's in a bookmark and the back is this beautiful gingham. Spoiler alert, this bookmark design is going to be a pencil case, like super soon. I'm taking listing photos for the bookmarks and I think this layout is so fun. It doesn't look like much behind the scenes, but when you get up close, a photo. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is kind of a glimpse into behind the scenes. I have the lights on here. I already took photos of the pencil bookmarks, so I can edit those later and put them up. I'm gonna edit these ones in a little bit too. And then, I will take pictures of these prints with the original painting, which is right here. I'm gonna paint the edges too and varnish it, so stay tuned, I'll do that with you. Okay, I'm gonna paint the sides of this now. I have it resting on this crate. I like to do that when I paint the edges of my canvases because I can paint all the sides without having to let things dry. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm gonna mix Payne's Gray with Cerulean Blue. Every time I hear Cerulean, I just think about the Devil Wears Prada and it like really makes me wanna watch that movie. Now I'm just gonna take a paintbrush here and mix those colors. I don't know why it takes me forever to finally get around to painting the edges of a canvas. It like kind of annoys me that I do this, but you know. Whatever. Okay, now let's just paint the edges. I have like a nice muted sky blue, which is what I was hoping for. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Don't know if you can see this. I don't know how to do this in a way that benefits us both. But yeah, this is the color. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go around the edges of this whole canvas with this. Again, it is raining. I live in central Ohio and we have been hit with some really bad weather the last like month. Um, my area, actually we got hit by a tornado. I did not talk about that before, but yeah, we have to get some stuff repaired on our property. It's been rough, man, and my ceiling leak and everything. We've had a lot going on. Anyway, I didn't really pack orders in this vlog, but Sophia packed one and actually filmed it. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, I'm gonna work on editing those photos I took earlier and getting my stuff listed in my shop. So that means by the time you see this video, 
all my new stuff will be up in my shop. <laughs> also, don't forget to use my discount code if you are part of the early squad. I will put it here on the screen. I'm kind of doing this sale because this is like the slowest my shop has been in a really long time. Which, like just behind the scenes, real talk here, but when you have a small business, there are good months and there are bad months. I feel like usually February, March, April, May, those are the slower months of the year. So I'm trying to be optimistic and put it into perspective like this is a time and a season and things will change later in the year. That's okay though. It is giving me time to do a lot of big paintings right now, which I showed you some peaks earlier in this vlog. So those are drying now. And then once those are dry, I'm gonna paint the edges and varnish those, which might happen in the next vlog. I don't know when I'm gonna release that collection either, but I'm just working on big projects and stuff. I think I'm gonna start filming my floral painting course, and then I wanna do an ocean painting course. It's really hard to have time to do all of these things, but anyway, that's my real talk with you. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Hope you have a good day. Cheers.